There we go. Yeah, it's in like a square ratio. I can't do anything about that. So sorry. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Yes, it's called Faith. As far as I know, I'm playing a priest exercise in some demons, and it's done in like an Atari style. Gideon is off taking care of his dad, so it's just me to start. It's okay, Faith has always been the horror genre for me. Oh, damn. Okay. What? <laughs> Exercising. Okay, I know it wants me to go up. Oh, no, I can go left. I feel like it wants me to... Wait, how far left can I go? Hold on. I'm gonna get off the road. I ain't no plebs gonna be hit by a car. I'm priesting. Oh. I feel like, yep, it's gonna end with slip. I'm behind the tree! Guys. I'm behind the tree. The demon tree! I gotta exercise the demon tree. Do you think it's the same if I go the other way? No. Well, the car has physics, that's something. What's that? Is that a rock? Can I pick it up? No, I guess it's just a rock. Is it the, the same deal? Yeah, it's the same deal. Okay, alright, we'll go up. Hey, Hero of Timeless! What's up? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> go, go! I think I- did I exercise it or no? It kinda ran away. I don't think- Hey! Ex excuse me! Excuse me, sir! That's really cool how it like wigs the trees out, though. Hey, it's a well. Oh! Did I exercise the well? Ah! Oh my god, it's so bright. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday! That's a freaky clown. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Ah, oh, yeah, I know you guys always pick on me because I don't say his whole name. Hero of Timeless Poop. Are you happy? What is Timeless Poop? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. What is Timeless Poop? You never seen this game, what is it? This is a free hor uh, indie horror game on Itch.io. It's called Faith. Uh, Gideon is out taking care of his dad. When he comes back, we're gonna be playing Evil Within 2. Look at this house. Until then, uh, I'm taking the reins, because it's Friday and Friday, and we, we're, a, we're a horror game channel, we play horror games on Friday. So, um, I elected to... Okay. So I elected to just play some dorky indie games till he gets back. Cause uh, I, I'm a sucker for really, really bad- it wait, so do I have to find a key? Sometimes people hide keys in rocks, can I- Can I exercise the rock? Um, I'm a sucker for indie horror, whether it be bad, whether it be good. Sometimes bad horror games can be really good. That's kinda how I feel about this game. Uh, I'm delighted by its retroness. Ooh. Can't go left. Just play Outlast. Uh, I've already gone through Outlast. I couldn't make it to the end. Gideon had to finish it for me. And that was because I actually drank through most of Outlast. And then... Oh. And then on the... Excuse, excuse me, sir. That's right. Excuse me. 
And then when I got to like literally an hour away from the ending of Outlast, I ran out of alcohol and I just couldn't keep my nerves and getting that to finish it for me. Mr. Martin has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as historical as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. In the inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbing to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I reach out to you, and then I, when I get a response from them, all the best. So the people who own this house tried to get the graves put in, like, a historical society? Or in Connecticut. And it's written in a language you cannot identify. You know, the, the menu was... How do I exit this screen? How do I exit this screen? Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, the intro screen had a language that was unidentifiable. Can I not exercise this one? Okay. Uh, until I hovered over them, then it became a regular menu language. So that's very interesting. Apparently there's a whole lore to think. Oh, it's a deer. Hey, ex excuse me! Rude! What's up, deer? Yeah, we also played Outlast 2, which I know we uploaded two of the parts. I should probably upload part three. Uh, we had uploaded them because that was right before we started having the VODs automatically upload. So I guess I'm just finding these exercises until I get a key to this house. Public lecture. Connecticut's historical connection to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. I had to scroll all the way down, Ray Lumen. I didn't realize it. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway, trees just out in the middle of the grave path. It's mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Aldred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead and we all arrived at the house. Isn't that who I am? Aren't I, Father Aldred? I mentioned in the intro how, you know, I didn't think I'd ever come back. And then I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Aldred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to lay the person. So I guess we did an exorcism in here? Oh cool, I can go inside. Yeah, it's a key! Oh. I'm ready. I saw you pass by that window. I saw you. I saw you. Get the hell out! Kidding me right now? Kidding me? Mmm. Ain't getting jump on no back ram. Demons be quick, <laughs> but they cannot pass the double sticks. talking about. I ain't gonna get jumped by no lanky white spider. What did I just say? What did I just say? Going to lurk and play this game yourself, MS or Excuse me! I am trying to talk to my Twitch chat, good sir. Can I exercise this yet? No? I think I did this one already. Pretty confident I did this one yeah, okay. I know there's like other things to exercise. Why is that tree dead? Back off. Why is this tree dead? Yeah! That's right. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looking like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she has found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Rude. How much more should I look around for stuff to exercise? I feel like I'm gonna have to, like, exercise this Amy chick. She seems to be heavily involved in this. I'm gonna exercise the deer. We're at a standstill, deer. What's it gonna be? Okay. 
Maybe I'll just keep going until it repeats like that, and then I'll know I've gone in each direction. Sorry, guys, I'm I'm very explorative. Um, especially with these indie games. Excuse me! That's right. <laughs> especially with these indie games, I know how important it is you miss one thing and you'll get a bad ending. So I kinda just wanna be sure I got all the notes. Did all the exercising. I will exercise all the stuff. Yeah, I went in a circle. Okay, we're back at the dead tree. Whoa, here we go. What's this? Chaos I'm ready. You wanna go? You wanna you wanna go? Can I exercise any of this? Hey fireball, what's up? Okay, I guess none of that is exercisable. I like how I was just ready to give up exploring, and then I find Chaos Rain. I have to find you from before! Wait, just... Shut the light up. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You'll meet a representative back and accompany him to Rome. Rather, it's the same well. This property is huge, you guys! I wonder if I got all the notes, though. I'm kinda lost. Oh, I wasn't facing him! I got cocky! Mortis. You're a mortis. Oops. Do I have to find that red circle in those notes again? Do you think that matters? I wasn't sure if you'd follow me past screen or not. Sleeping Dawn, never heard of it. Okay, now I- I- Jackass! Can I exercise the deer? I feel so bad! I don't want the deer to get killed. Alright. Okay, let's see if it says Chaos Reigns again. Okay, so I guess that means the other notes I got, I have to re-get. I don't know how important they are, though. Chaos Rains. Shut up, dude. Wait, does it repeat it every time I come into the screen? Alright, I'm going in the house. I'm going back to the house. I'm dillied enough. I dallied. Yeah. You suck. No, leave the deer alone! <gasps> Yo, F this house! There's white spider demon I can't. Alright, I made it. There was a purple thing in the window, though. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us down the upstairs to the basement. To the stairs of the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I knew it. Remember I'm like, that Amy girl probably got exercised. Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Alright, so this- this- this kid had some demons. I wonder if it's still gonna be a white spider demon thing. Why is she purple? Okay. Hey, 
getting the exercise. There's also no music, which is a little eerie. Plant. Okay. All right, guys, you want me to go upstairs in the top room or the bottom room? Personally, I like going up floors last. Oh, gotcha. I've taken four hour naps. Really? The bedroom is right, like, right there? So close to the door? Why is there no music? It's a little creepy. I will exercise a coat in a plant. I'm gonna exercise everything. Cause the thing, there's no- this is a giant bed! Like, look at me, and imagine me on that bed! How cool is it? I feel like this mirror reflection is going to be important later. <laughs> I see you at the window. Don't pretend you ain't there. I see you. Can I exercise it? <laughs> what was- get out! Sorry, your little gray pixels. Picture on the fridge. Why are there ghosts in all these pictures? Nate. Oh my god. So, there's an upstairs and there's a basement. I'm waiting for the spoops. What does an obese demon do to lose weight? Pay a priest to become their exercising coach. <laughs> Fortunately, they exercised her with the Stairmaster Aerobics Regimen. Ah, oh, Jeebus. I am tiny. I'm, I'm five foot is my height. Like, even. Speaking of exercise, as we come across an exercise bike. Okay, I, I guess things that aren't in color, like, don't matter. Like, all the orange stuff, so I'm, I'm probably not gonna bother walking up to that. Ducky! I wanna exercise the duck. Yeah! I did it. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside and around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the wood. They were twins. Okay. I don't let twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed and distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through at a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, so I guess there was a daughter and two twin boys. Does the water do anything, or is it just because it's water? I guess it's just because it's water. Kind of like how the plants are green. What the hell is that pink thing supposed to be? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in on the attic when I got up there. It was freezing. Cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During the conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, she, bo she spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. <laughs> Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. Oh, we're seeing where the demon came from. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have the book club. She looks like she could be... from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have had a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Wait, wait, wait. So... This guy sent his daughter a doll when she's old enough to be working at a clinic? That's weird, right? I don't know why you'd send, like, your adult kid a doll. I don't know. I guess some people still collect that, like, as an adult. Okay. Which 
wants one of these? Can I exercise? Why is there a map of the world in the twins' room? No child wants a map of the earth in their room. They don't. Alright, I guess we're going in the basement. I def I like the tension building. Like, the lack of music is actually quite eerie. Alright, well, I see blood. I see whatever this is. Was I supposed to go outside and, and follow the shadow? Is there two ways? Or is there one way? There's one way. You guys got some leaks in your basement, by the way. You can definitely, um... I'm gonna exercise the laundry. The true way of cleaning it. Is this a bed? Or like part of a bed? What is this? Oh, I can exercise it. Okay. <laughs> Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. In as a missionary. The area we're working in has a lot of folks who practice... Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerta, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we were asked about if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerta. Wait. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed. Okay. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerta, and the figures were made- the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. Okay. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and send it back to work. See you in four months. This is a weird, like, pen pal letter to be sending. Mannequins! All the spoops. Alright, which one of you is haunted? Not a single one of you is haunted! Now I'm just disappointed. You think if I leave the room they're gonna move? Cool. Cool, cool. We're off to a good start. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off of her fear. Father Ald- Aldred? I thought it was Aldred. I think that's a typo. Asked me to take Martin- the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, mother, mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. I went down to check on things. I found Father Aldred lying. Maybe it is all. Maybe it is Aldred. I thought it was Aldred. I found Father Aldred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. So she escaped. Alright. I'm ready to throw down with some demons. I'm ready. Come at me. Come at me! Excuse me? Excuse me. He is here. I'm ready. You want to go, Amy? You want to go? Come at me. Does she make that sound when she's close, or is that just atmosphere noise? Come at me. Wait, so what am I doing now? Am I looking for her? That was a cool cinematic, by the way. Is she just going to come at me like the white spider bro? Are we playing glorified hide-and-seek? Oh! Come at me! Come at me! Oh, oh, oh no! Okay! Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So she's gonna surround me and I gotta find the right one? Okay. Alright, I'm digging it! Come at me! Come at me, bro! That's right! That's right! And what? Go, go, 
Get out. Get out. I see your Ah! See through your shit. So I, I probably have to go back to the basement, right? And like come at me. Come at me. That's right. That's right. Get out. Oh, do I have to exercise all the- Get out. Get out of here! Get out of here, woman! I got the time for this! Oh. Oh, yeah, see, the attic is open. Alright, let's do this. Let's throw down, Amy. I'm ready. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you that their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in an exercise of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She blanked my superior, Father Blank, with Blank. When I confronted her, she Blank. Blank managed to cut the power to the house and Blank, her own parents Blank, with their own Blank. Okay, I guess she murdered everybody. It looks like I wrote this note. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can't still help her if I don't come back. Know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. Well, I guess I didn't write this, but I guess the other priest I was with back in the day wrote this. Can I exercise anything? Get out of here. My God, what happened to you? Do you see? My face is pretty. I have to finish what I started. Get out of here! My priest. All right. Get out. Behold the power of holding space bar. Do I have to get closer? Get. Get. Do I have to avoid him? Get! Oh no, I meant to run! Get! Nope, yeah, I guess I have to avoid him. Okay, so he has like a movement pattern. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is fine. Did I get her? She got me. <laughs> okay, so it's not the same as before. It looks like I gotta find which one she is and hold it? I guess because I let go, she was able to come after me. <sighs> this is harder than it looks. Oh god! Yo, how much health do you have, woman? Woman. I've got to be, like, at least twice your age. You should not have this much health. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Ex excuse me. Excuse me! Oh. Okay. Please don't make me do this again. <laughs> there you go. Get a biscuit at Bajangles. Oh, thank god. Okay. Phase three. Alright, let's do this. Excuse me. Yes! You done? Are you done? Oh. Are you good? What? Did, did you just jump out the window? What? Kill her. Ah, uh, do I have to? <sighs> All right. With one bullet. Oh no, you're gonna make me not be able to miss. Oh, Lordy, okay. What if I see the white spider? <laughs> then what do I do? 
So I'm just hunting for her? She's probably at the well. This gun is huge! Second Amendment, hell yeah! <laughs> okay. Where's the blood circle? She's totally at the blood circle. Uh. <laughs> uh. Do I ignore it? I can't pull out my cross anymore, right? I assume space bar is to shoot. I guess I'll just ignore it. Oh. I gotta line up. Don't run now, okay? Sorry. Okay? What? Well now what? Why am I blue? Alright guys. Ah! Uh, it's the popo! Jeez it! One of what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I shouldn't have killed her. Oh, there's more. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a strange trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being... Pulled over when questioned, Ward reportedly. I was a state trooper? The officer thought it might be poachers. Recently upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17 year old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach. Really? Amy showed injuries suggesting she had been thrown out of a second story window. Oops. <laughs> An officer who helped recover the body told reports that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It was suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust. Damn, son! Oh, it starts me off here! I'm not picking up the gun! Guys, this is awesome. I hoped, in my hope of hopes, it would start me off here so I didn't have to do the whole game over. But this is great. Okay. So the shed should be over here. Alright, let's do this. Come at me, bro! Okay, okay. Come. Hey! Hey! Get back over! Excuse me! Are you kidding me? Just let me exercise you, sir! Alright, let me try exercising her. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna kill the shadow dude. If I shoot him from down here, do you think the bullet will go over the fence? Probably not. Yeah! We did it, guys. So do I go back to my car? So that's a person. Is that like one of the family members who's just been like stalking the place? Ooh, she's gone. Well, back to the car. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Ending to father and son. Who did I kill though? 
Well, I guess there'll be a report after this, right? Esteemed Cardinal Grifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up that the fight against the enemy is such a critical time. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but also causes a terrible strain on the body. So that there be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. So he is the other guy that they were, like, exercising. But why was he here? Alright, let's go kill a deer, I guess. I really don't want to, but we're, we're gonna go shoot a deer, apparently. Oh! I got it. I found a deacon. In the butt! <laughs> I shot it in the butt, you guys. Nothing happened though. I just shot a deer for nothing. Kinda sucks. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. So it's the same that niggas if you shot the shadow person. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. I had a feeling it was gonna be the same ending. Oh. I turned away at the last second. Oh sh <laughs> Favorite ending. Why you shoot a deer in the butt? Cause it was the best way to sneak up on him. Unidentified body discovered near wreck car. The deer is your favorite ending, right? <laughs> That was great. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called the report accident along Snake Meadow Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesperson for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It had It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Oh my god. Investigators suspect this is probably the work of the coyotes. Police also know that the parts of a clean white tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. Typically it gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Okay, so do we kill the car? I need to be- No, I'm, I'm going to shoot the Chaos Reigns. There we go. Okay. Did we do it? Did we kill the spider monstrosity? I don't know. Oh good! The cult stopped me. <sighs> yeah. The offering? Jeebus. Alright. We're going to the basement next. The question is, do I bring the gun? Hello Amy, I'm so sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you're clearly an adult and you're able to handle your own life. Sorry, I lost where my place was. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything we can do to help you, just let us know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night. I would love for you to stop by. We would still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad are not. We hope to see you. Gary. What the hell's Gary? Wait, so the clinic was a cult? That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Glitchy. Is we're going to the car. I 
gotta put the car down and ride the spider demon home. I didn't know about the spider either, but I was gonna take the gun to the car next. Get them. That's right. Oh, cars do travel down this road. Good deal. I will say of the lore, he is my refuge and my fortress. Is there no my good ending? In him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Wow, delivering. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. But... Isn't that girl still possessed or like wandering around without a faith? A uh, face? Animal experts investigate chupacabra remains. Okay. So it means it's enough local animal experts from the University of Connecticut. After the remains of an identified animal were found in Sterling, the remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had been apparently struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they were initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains told them that they appeared to be a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we won't to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. It's a mountain lion or an exotic pet that escaped from its owners. Okay. Animal experts attack attached to the investigation are not speculating about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets of vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay. So that was all five endings of faith. <laughs> You're one fifth of the way. Awesome. Deer ending is the best ending. <laughs>